to you about the war on whores. <clears throat> the war on prostitution. Start out by asking a few questions. Who speaks for whores? Who speaks for prostitutes? Who speaks for the people? And who decides whether or not prostitution is immoral or moral? If you wanted to hire a person to lay bricks at your house, and they would have to bust their ass for months at a time and hurt their body doing so, that's fine. But if you wanted to pay a girl who's willing, or guy, to do whatever it is sexually, that's illegal. I don't understand why. Prostitution is one of the oldest professions. There are accounts that go back thousands of years. In nearly every holy book it mentions them. Um, there's no stopping it, even if it is illegal, even though it is illegal. That certainly doesn't stop anyone from doing anything. Whether legal or not, prostitu prostitution is still happening and will continue to happen forever, as long as there are people who have sexual needs and wants. If it were legal, Americans would have to pay less in taxes. It would actually generate revenue because they would then pay taxes. Uh, we wouldn't have to pay so much taxes for prisons and for policing and for jailing and enforcing every single law and every single stage along the way from lawyers to judges, just everyone. It's crazy. Um, if legal, it would be well regulated and both the women and the men would be frequently tested for STDs. In countries where they have legalized it, it has been much safer for the people to enjoy that service, as well it should be. If it is the role of the government to protect the people, and you're not going to be able to stop it, then wouldn't the best way to protection be regulation? You don't have to want to go to a prostitution or need to go to a prostitute to see the benefits of it being legalized, even beyond just um, tax revenue generation, uh, provide a whole bunch of jobs. It would make that job less deplorable in many people's eyes. Um, if you find it deplorable, then don't go. But the law shouldn't be that it shouldn't be available to people who want to go. Not everyone has a typical life. Not everyone has the time for a relationship because of their career or whatever it might be. Not everyone can find their perfect person or want someone in their lives. Are you saying that all those people shouldn't be allowed to have any sexual relations in their life uh, just because it hurts your, you know, sensibilities? I think that's a bit ridiculous. And I think anyone who cares about people's personal liberties would want people to have as many rights and as many freedoms as possible, as long as they're not hurting anyone else. Prostitution is not objectively morally wrong. It's just wrong in the eyes of the law made by a bunch of theocrats a long time ago. And in America, we have really weird views about sex and sexuality. Most of the time here, they teach abstinence. So instead of teaching them education and how to do anything about having a child or not having a child, or what their rights are, the laws are, they just learn to not have sex. Well, people are still going to have sex. So then they're going to have sex and then they're not gonna know what to do. This might be a bit off the issue, but it all starts there. And then people grow up and they fear what they don't know, sort of, or make it a taboo, which attracts a lot of people just for that. I think it's bullshit. Just because I think we should not make as um, rules for each other. And even though it doesn't really interest me, I'm, I don't feel that it's right that I should be able to tell other people what they can do as long as they're not hurting anyone. As long as it's not forced prostitution or child prostitution or anything like that, 
I don't see what the problem is. Two consenting adults. You could pay an adult to clean your kitchen or pave your driveway. Well, you should be able to pay somebody to swallow your tip too. That's what I got to think on this shit. Anyway, until next time, a Socrates. Peace!